Hi there and welcome to Living Well. I'm your host, Dr. Peggy Malone. On today's episode, we'll be talking once again about complementary and alternative healthcare. And specifically today, we're going to talk about chiropractic and registered massage therapy. Obviously, this is a subject that is near and dear to my heart because I am a chiropractor and I'm really excited for you to learn a little bit more about it today. We'll be talking with Dr. Sean Burgess, who is a local chiropractor, as well as a local registered massage therapist, Heather Vance. So stick around because they are going to share definitely a lot of really interesting information about their respective professions. As always on the show, I want our interaction to be just that, interactive. I want to get to know you and I want to hear what you have to say about the show. Find me on Facebook at Peggy Malone or head over to Twitter and find me at Dr. Peggy Malone or go to www.drpeggymalone.com. On the website, you'll be able to get a review of anything you might have missed on the show. Will I be able to, if you find like a tidbit during the show that you just missed or you want to review, go straight to the website after the show and check it out. Also, we've had some really great episodes on lots of health and wellness topics. And if you have missed those or if you want to review any of those, go to www.drpeggymalone.com. Also, while you're at the website, check out my 21 day challenge to better health and wellness. Why is it 21 days? Well, it takes 21 days or three weeks to create a new habit. So if you stick with something every day for 21 days and you do it consistently, chances are you'll have created a new behavior. And in this case, it will be a better, healthier you. It doesn't cost anything. The only commitment that I'm gonna ask you to make or the only investment that I'm gonna ask you to make is to do the strategies and action steps that I'll give you every single day for 21 days. So go to www.drpeggymalone.com and sign up for that. Always at the beginning of the show, we wanna get your take on health. On a previous episode, we talked about toxins in our environment, and this was something that created a lot of buzz. Um, I asked you if you wanted to share anything or if you had any reactions to the show. And one viewer wrote, wow, the statistic about a chemical getting to every organ in under 30 seconds really made me check what I'm using to clean my house. Really great information. Another viewer wrote, after the show, I went to www.safecosmetics.org and I was blown away when I learned what is actually in the products I use. For example, there's lead in lipstick and cancer-causing chemicals in some baby shampoos. I will definitely be making more informed and ed educated choices in the future. Thanks again for uh, getting back to us and telling your thoughts on the show. Today, because we're talking about chiropractic and massage therapy, by all means, after the show, head over to the website and let us know what your um, experiences are in that area. After the break, I will be chatting with Dr. Sean Burgess about chiropractic, so stick around, you don't wanna miss it. Hi there, and welcome back to the show. Joining me now is chiropractor, Dr. Sean Burgess. Sean, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. All right, so obviously I'm a big fan of chiropractors, being one myself. Thank you for coming to the show to chat with us. Um, first thing that uh, our viewers probably would like to know, and I know this very well from being a chiropractor, is that it's a word and a profession that sort of has a cloud of mythology over it. And uh, I want people to sort of have some of those myth myths dispelled. So tell us, what is chiropractic? Well, the term chiropractic comes from the Greek, which essentially means done by hand. So we don't use drugs or surgery or medications in the treatment of our patients. Everything is done manually. And we see a particular success in treating conditions related to the neuromusculoskeletal system. Uh, what that means is uh, nerves, muscles, joints. We seem to do the best at, uh, at uh, treating. And that's really what it comes down to in a nutshell, I guess, is that we diagnose, treat, and prevent conditions related to the neuromusculoskeletal system. Okay, and I always like to add to this, you said neuromusculoskeletal system. Most people think chiropractors only treat the spine, but that's neuromusculoskeletal from head to toe. So if you have an ankle sprain or a wrist problem or a shoulder problem, a chiropractor can help you with those as well. Absolutely. All right, so that said, we're going to segue nicely from that. Why would someone seek out the care of a chiropractor? Uh, it seems that uh, lower back pain seems to bring most people in, but it's certainly not limited to lower back pain. Um, we also see people for neck pain, and like you said, any joint in the body we can help with. And there's also something that we do that's called wellness care that, you know, people will come in that don't have any complaints at all. And that's those people we see, you know, like for every four or five or six weeks, just to kind of keep them going, kind of a little tune up every now and again. Okay, great. Um, and chiro chiropractors are primary health care providers. So that's something often people don't recognize or don't understand. Can you tell us, number one, what does that mean? And do I need to get a referral to go see a chiropractor? Well, uh, the term primary care uh, providers is that you can come to a chiropractor for any complaint. And we're trained enough to send you in the direction that you need to go. And do you need a referral to see us? No. Yes and no. No, 
most of the time, but some there's some third party insurance payers that will require a, um, a note from your medical doctor to, to come see us for them to pay. Okay, so when you're dealing with insurance companies occasionally, but for the most part, you can just go see a chiropractor. Yes. You don't need your medical doctor to refer you. No. Okay, great. All right, um, you mentioned that we're trained to do certain things. Tell us about what is the education of a chiropractor? This is something often people are surprised when they hear that uh, chiropractors are often as trained or as educated as their doctors. They are. Um, we, it's four years of undergraduate work and then four years of chiropractic school. And you know the the chiropractic education is similar to a medical education. Like the only the, the main difference is that we are trained in in manipulations and manual therapies, whereas obviously medical doctors are trained in prescription medications. Okay, great. Um, tell me, what is an adjustment? Uh, a, the adjustment seems to be the primary tool in the toolbox for chiropractors, and the official definition for it is a high velocity, low amplitude thrust through a joint. So what that means is a chiropractor will feel the joints of your spine, figure out which ones aren't really moving that well, and then we get them moving again with the adjustment. Okay, great. And um, some people are hesitant to go to the chiropractor because they think that the only option is that they're gonna get cracked, okay? And this is something I see often, that people have that look in their face, like they're mm -hmm. deer in headlights, oh my goodness, that's scary. Yeah. Is there any alternatives to that? Yes, and that's the furthest thing from the truth. And it's always always geared towards patient level. You know, If they don't like it, then obviously we don't do it. And there is a host of other therapies that are available, uh, other tools in the toolbox, so to speak, other than the adjustment. You know, For me, I use a lot of muscle, myofascial therapy, muscle therapy, um, ice and heat therapy, ultrasound, interferential current, in addition to you know, exercise prescription and nutritional counseling. Okay, great. And to add to that, in my practice, and you know, every chiropractor is different in those tools that they have in their toolbox, I have a specific tool called an activator that if somebody is not into the idea of being adjusted manually that, with that cracking noise, we can use a more gentle adjustment with the activator. And I also have a tool called a, called a toggle board. So these things, if you're not sure about going to the chiropractor, then these are things you can ask to make sure that you can get the care that you need, you can get the adjustments that you need without having to be pushed outside your comfort zone. Yes, and it's all, all geared toward patient comfort. Yeah, absolutely. Number one priority, right? Yes, absolutely. Good. All right, so the cracking noise, we mentioned that already. A lot of times, because I said people have some trepidation about the cracking noise, tell us what exactly is the cracking noise? What, what makes that noise? So when a joint is adjusted, uh, all the joints in the spine have fluid in there, and it, within the fluid are gas bubbles. And when the joint is adjusted, the, the bones of that joint will temporarily separate a little bit, which allows that gas bubble to release, which gives you the, the popping or the cracking sound that we're, we're known for. So that, that pressure change when that gas releases is very similar to when somebody opens a jar and it makes a popping noise, right? Correct. All right. Um, okay, so again, one of the myths of chiropractic care is, and I've heard this over and over and over again, once I go to the chiropractor, I always have to go to the chiropractor. Tell us why that's a myth. Well, and again, that's patient comfort level, right? You know, each patient is in charge of their health. You know, some conditions that we see will take a little bit to get out of there, get out of there but, you know, for the most part, you know, if you decide you don't want to continue with care anymore, it might not be recommended, but it's up to the patient to, to, you know, to stop care. Okay, great, yeah. And well, and I say that too, that typically when you're working with somebody, part of the reason they come to see you is because they have some discomfort or pain based on probably some bad habits that they've been doing in life. So they come to see you, they get fixed up, and then the number one predictor of future back pain is previous back pain. So people leave your office or my office and they go out and they do their bad habits again, chances are they're going to get into pain so that they can come back and use a tool that has worked well, well for them in the past. Yes. And I really, really like how you said patients are in control of their health. A big theme throughout the entire show that we've been doing here is taking control of your own health. So it's really up to you to make sure that you know that you're in charge. Your healthcare practitioners are not the ones who are responsible, you are. So always, if you have questions about that, ask your healthcare provider. Um, all right, Sean. We talked about some of the things that chiropractors will help with. Who is at risk for back pain and back-related disorders or problems? Well, really everybody. Um, you know, with this uh, our society anymore, we seem to be increasingly sedentary, and I think that's what that's what really drives the, the back pain. You know, uh, and a lot of uh, jobs out there where we sit at desks all day and then we come home and sit on the couch, and you know this. Uh, this idea that we we're not moving as much as we used to anymore. So I think that's what uh, that's what really is driving the back pain. 
Yeah, and that's so interesting because actually when you look at the statistics, people that sit still in their work are way more likely to have back pain than people that do very physical jobs. And people often think the opposite of that. They think that if something's, someone's doing something very physical, they might end up with a back injury. But it's usually those people that sit still. So yeah, good point. Um, if I'm going to go to the chiropractor and I've never been before, what should I expect at my first visit? So a first visit will in include a little bit of paperwork. We will take, uh, um, we'll, we'll look at all of your relevant uh, past medical history. We'll look at your past uh, family history. We'll take a, a detailed history of your presenting complaint and then go over a physical exam and decide if we need any imaging and then discuss treatment options and whether or not chiropractic is what's going to help you or whether you know you really need to go off and you know see a massage therapist or physiotherapy or go back and see your medical doctor and then we'll come up with a treatment plan from there. Okay, great. And yeah, and that's good to know that if you are going to the chiropractor and because we are primary care providers, if something comes up where it doesn't really fall into what we can do for you, we have the knowledge to send you back to your medical doctor or like you said, refer you to a massage therapist or to a physiotherapist or whatever, whatever you may need. Mm -hmm. um, if somebody is looking to find a chiropractor, what advice would you give them in terms of what to look for and how to find one? Well, I think the best, uh, the best thing to do is talk to people who have been to a chiropractor. Know, see what they like, what they don't like about seeing a chiropractor. And I think that word of mouth thing seems to be seems to be the best thing to do. So talk to your friends, talk to your family, see what they see who they go and see, and and see if they're they're happy with the care they're receiving. Okay, I agree. I think that somebody you trust is going to give you the best advice. So that's great. Um, and that said, if somebody wants to come and see you or contact you for an appointment, how can they find you? I'm located at uh, Two Second Ave in the In Touch Health and Wellness Center, and my telephone number is. 633-9333. All right, and you'll be able to see that information um, on the screen here as also, also check it out on the website. Uh, thank you so much for being with us today, Sean. Thanks um, for having me. I'd love to talk to chiropractors as always. Um, all right, after the break, we are gonna chat with registered massage therapist, Heather Vance, but before that, we are gonna head over to our health and wellness action tip of the day. Hi there, and welcome to today's health and wellness action tip. Today we're talking about all the pains, back pain, neck pain, foot pain, and arthritis that sometimes goes along with those pains. If you're somebody who's suffering from arthritis or anything degenerative, the number one rule for anything degenerative is move it or lose it. So if you are in pain, often that means we don't want to move. We stop moving, we immobilize ourselves. But the best thing you can do for yourself if you have arthritis or if you are in pain is do gentle movements to start and get your body moving. Remember, motion is lotion and move it or lose it. We'll see you next time for our next action tip.